Today, we're not flying for ourselves. Like never before, we are flying for every 58 Delta pilot, crew chief, everybody that has been a part of the 58D organization, we're flying for them. Today, we're flying for 42 souls that were killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. And today, just like every other time, we got on our horses and they've heard the sound of our hooves coming. They're gonna hear it again. Be proud. Be proud of what you're doing. Be proud of what you do. Be proud as you fly these aircraft today. With that said, let's get it done. Cavalry. The uh, last uh, squadron that is going to be uh, carrying the uh, OH-58 Delta Kyle Warrior. As a squadron, as, a, uh, as the team of teams that we are, uh, we're going to crank every single one of our aircraft and we'll take off as a squadron uh, and do one more flight over, the, uh, over Fort Bragg as well as over Fayetteville, and that's a, that's a tribute. It's a multi-pronged tribute. Uh, first and foremost, it, it, it's a tribute to the OH-58 Delta Chi Warrior. Second to that, it's a tribute, and it's a uh, honor to each and every one of the uh, Cavalry pilots that has ever flown one of these aircraft. To include those that, uh, that have given you know, th their life in this aircraft, and there's been 42 uh, Chi Warrior pilots that have lost their life in combat over the last 15 years. Lastly, but uh, certainly not least, it's a tribute to uh, the Fort Bragg area and the Fayetteville community that, uh, that has supported the 82nd as well as the uh, 117th Cav uh, for so many years that, uh, that we've been here. In the old cavalry days, the horses had a very distinct sound. And that's when the, uh, the ground infantry knew that, uh, that the cavalry was there, the cavalry was coming to, uh, to, to provide that supporting fire, to provide that reaction time and maneuver space. This aircraft right here also has a very distinctive sound. And the, uh, the infantry, our, our ground brethren uh, in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, other parts of the world, they grew accustomed to that sound. And they knew that the cavalry was coming and the cavalry was going to provide the uh, reaction time and maneuver space. It's an absolute joy to fly. It really is a pilot's aircraft. From the pilot's perspective, I can say that it, it does everything you ask it to do if you know how to ask. Learning how to ask is the hard part. I would say there, I have several times when I've been either in Iraq or Afghanistan and uh, things got a little crazy and uh, at the end of it, once we all work through everything with my ground brothers, that uh, you know they get on the radio and they say thanks. And uh, it's kind of vindication for all your training and, and why we're there. Uh, and uh, that's definitely my fondest memory every time I've gotten that, uh, that thanks for the support. There are uh, no greater satisfaction than a total stranger walking up to you, shaking your hand, looking you in the eye, and saying, sir, without you today, I would not be here. The aircraft that we fly right now, if you liken them to horses, they've grown tired, they've grown old, and we're just going to turn them out to pasture for new horses. So when we get back from Korea, we'll get uh, A-64 Apaches to still do the same job of the cavalry. Uh, it's uh, it's bittersweet. It's absolutely bittersweet because it has been a uh, been a pleasure uh, to to fly this aircraft to to ride this horse. Uh, but uh, you know this this is not the only thing that the cavalry has ever had. The cavalry has been uh, you know riding horses and changing out their horses for years upon years upon years. This is just one more evolution in that changing of the horses to still continue to do the same job that we've been doing.